Well, the economy and unemployment numbers pre-pandemic, they were talking points tonight as well, Carolina. But Americans, they're still struggling as we speak, especially in the month since those $600 federal unemployment payments expired. A few weeks ago, the president signed an order making half that available to people instead. But as 10 Tampa Bay's Josh Dorowitz explains, Florida is still one of the few states that has not yet applied to actually get that money. So far, 35 states have either applied, say they plan to, or have been approved for the $300 federal unemployment payments. But here in Florida, it's not really clear what the next move is. Just trying to being able to survive is the biggest worry. For this family with four young kids and dad laid off from his restaurant job since April, money has really gotten tight since those federal $600 checks stopped. I'm trying to figure you know, okay, if we pay this at this time, we're gonna have to pay that next week or save 200, try to save 200 here for this bill. We're pretty much depending on what I make and us being having, you know, four kids, it's not easy. Governor Ron DeSantis did not bring up unemployment at all during a press conference Monday in Miami, but he has said before that he was concerned about the state being on the hook for some of this money. The Trump administration though has said states can count existing benefits as part of their share. It was really the silence. Tired of waiting, Vanessa Brito, who has become sort of the go-to activist for unemployed Floridians, submitted forms to the state on Monday, and the first step she hopes will lead to a recall effort of the governor. She's starting a petition to get an amendment on the ballot to change the state's recall law, which right now only applies to locally elected officials, not state level. People are scared more today than ever, and, and they feel like they don't have a voice. He's not thinking about... um his people, mm -hmm. the Floridians taking care of the middle class people mm -hmm. or the low income working families like us. Now, the governor's office never got back to us today when we asked for an update on where the state stood on applying for these benefits. On Friday, his office said they were still reviewing their options.